Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a couple of clips from different days of me just sort of preparing food. Um, I tried to keep my food as nutritious as possible but also tasty because the second food isn't tasty, I will not eat it no matter how healthy it is. So yeah, for me it's very important to keep my food healthy as much as I possibly can. Dinner is usually the only meal where I am eating a little bit more carby, so to speak. Like for breakfast, I usually eat my breakfast super late or as lunch, so I only eat like two proper meals a day and I'm honestly fine with it. It's not like I wake up late and I usually don't like eating right when I wake up, so I'll have my coffee and then if I am hungry, then I'll have breakfast. So I'll have like a toast or yogurt bowl or something. I'll snack throughout, like between lunch and dinner, whether that be a smoothie. I try and keep my snacks fairly healthy. And then for dinner, I either eat the previous night's food. I usually try and make enough for at least two, three dinners so that I don't have to worry about cooking every night. So dinner is usually the only time where I'll have like pasta or rice or potatoes or something like that. Um, other times I'm trying, I try and stick to just vegetable, veggie, vegetables, just vegetables or just fruit. But basically what you guys are about to see is just a compilation of a few video clips of me trying to make healthy, but tasty, but nutritious food. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm probably gonna make this a series and as I, like get more this is just what i've been eating a lot of recently of course it's a subject to change and when it does i definitely want to come on here and make new ones so i think i want to make it a series and when i have new food to make for you guys then i will so let's get right into today's video all right good good day guys we won't say good morning um today's brunch or we'll say we'll call it lunch is going to be some avocado toast with fried eggs and some coffee i'm just going to show you how i prepare it um i call this lunch because it doesn't matter how late or early i wake up i usually can eat like right when i wake up so i'll have like water or tea or i'll have like my first cup of coffee um and then when i start feeling hungry i'll make food and this is honestly so beneficial for me just because i am basically eating Instead of three big meals, I eat two big meals in a day. And it's not to say that by doing that, I'm hungry or anything. It's just like simply by listening to my body and when it's hungry. So we're going to make some toasted buns. This is a high in protein type of bun. It's just a slow carb. I'm also just going to make a cup of coffee. I've also explained, this is like homemade um, cold brew. I've also explained how I made that in the last vlog. Um, but I will anyhow just show you guys how I make it or explain to you at least. So... I'm going to pour in like half a cup of, pour in the cup halfway full with some cold brew. And then there's not a lot left in these boxes, so I'll use honestly all of it. But I just do half and half of both. This is the vanilla oatly milk. And this is just an original oatly oat milk. And then I have some maple syrup. I use five moles of this in my coffee. And my coffee is honestly to die for in the mornings. Um, I said this also the last time, but life hack to keep your teeth white, especially if you're a regular coffee drinker, drink with a straw, hot or cold, whether it be black coffee or coffee with milk, it saves your teeth. So we're going to make buns. I'm going to toast each of the buns. I'm having one bun. Um, toasting each of them, I'm going to put a layer, probably use half an avocado, and then I'm going to fry two eggs. Currently, um, some butter here i really want to find an alternative i don't because like my food sticks to the pan and that's why i use butter um but i want to find i know that there's like avocado cooking spray or coconut oil cooking spray or something like that's very healthy i um, mean you don't really need a lot also i think gen in general just having a spray is like you use less so i definitely want to find one i haven't found something like this until now so when i have i will let you guys know so we're just gonna crack our eggs in and then get on with the rest of it We have our eggs cracked and frying. I'm going to add some dry herbs Oops. and some chicken spice just for taste. You can, of course, just do um, some salt and pepper. I'm also just going to add a little bit of pepper to this. 
And then the buns are sort of pre-cut. You just have to like divide them. I'm going to uh, put them into the toaster. And then as I'm waiting for my eggs and buns to finish, I'm gonna make my coffee. My toast is done. And we're just gonna add some avocados to them. And these hands are also finished, so I'm just gonna turn down the heat and quickly do the avos and then add my eggs. I'm going to add some lemon juice, black pepper, chili flakes, and some salt for taste um, on the avocado. And now we're going to add the egg to our avocado. Moving this closer. Okay guys, she is all done. We have my coffee and my breakfast or lunch for me. This is a breakfast. She's nutritious, lots of protein, healthy fats from the avocado, as little carbs as possible with the protein bread, which again adds to the protein. And very minimal sugar in the coffee. So very nutritious, healthy, tasty, filling breakfast. If you guys try this, I hope you enjoy it. All right guys, it's a bit later in the day and I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry, but I know I wanna work out soon, so I'm not going to have something too filling. So I'm going to have this pear. I've been drinking some water as well. Um, if I'm still hungry after the pear, like to the point where I don't think I'll be able to get through a workout, I'll have my green smoothie before I work out. But I'm planning on having a green smoothie after I work out, you know, like a post-workout meal. Alright guys, dinner time has come. I ended up not having a green smoothie because I didn't work out. I took a nap instead because I just wasn't. Some dinner now. I decided I want some pasta. And instead of mince, I'm going to spice it up and just have some of this. I'm going to defrost it really quickly. And then cut it up and fry it in the pan with some onions and some cherry tomatoes. We have a ton that I need to get through. Um, I'm going to add this to it and some other spice is just some garlic spice, some paprika and some chili spice. And then I'm going to have again, of course, some pasta. I'm going to make enough, like I think I'm going to make two servings so that I can have it for dinner or lunch tomorrow as well. But I don't want to have pasta the whole week. So I'm just making enough for that just in case I don't want to cook tomorrow. If I want to cook tomorrow, I'll save it for, freeze it for another time. But yeah, then for a side, I'm going to have some green beans, which I'm going to season with some garlic spice, lemon juice and some salt um and then we have salt and oil as well for the pasta and we're also going to have this as a side this is just some um beet some red beet i guess it's pickled i don't know how you would call it but but i'm just sort of going to prepare it and see how i can sort of show you how i'm going to prepare it i'll probably just do it in the way that i did it in the last vlog where i just show you individual steps So remember how I was like, this spaghetti is very, don't mind that, that is the sausage that's so defrosting. But remember when I said that this pasta was really, really thick? Look at it. And then, I have no idea what this is, but okay. <laughs>
right, so this is our meal. We've got some green beans, some pasta. I was actually really surprised with this pasta. It's actually a type of macaroni and not like spaghetti. And it's just so thick, <laughs> which is very unexpected. So I made a lot more than I would have needed. We have the sausage and sauce and the beet. And then I'm just having it with a glass of iced tea, but it's in a wine glass because why not? And now I'm just gonna watch the game eat this delicious and healthy meal so that is a couple of meals that i've eaten this week um in the times where i wasn't filming i was honestly just eating um the same thing I had my avocado and egg toast literally the whole week still this weekend i still had it coffee in the mornings snacks i want to the next one will probably have a smoothie in it as well um, and then there was just days where I just had no appetite so I didn't even really make any effort to prepare anything to eat and then the next night I just had some takeaways some wings um, So it wasn't very interesting, but I just still just wanted to make this just a quick short video so if you enjoyed these recipes if you're gonna try them out let me know tag me or send them to me and let me know how you like them um but yeah that brings us to the end of today's video if you watch this far thank you so much for watching i appreciate the love and support and i appreciate each and every one of you so much and i'm sending you so much love and so much life bye